In this video, I want to prove the compound angle addition and subtraction formulas for in trigonometry. Okay, so let me write the formula. So sine sine alpha plus beta is equal to sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. Now from this formula, you can prove the remaining formula that I'm going to write. So the, subtract, the subtraction formula is sine alpha minus beta is sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta. Okay, so I think we can prove, I got, I'll not take uh, much time, I'll prove this and for cos, I think we'll uh, do it in the next video. So let's, to prove this, uh, let me draw the y and the x-axis. Suppose this is the y and this is the x-axis. And let me draw a ray. Say this is a ray. And this makes an angle of, say, alpha with the x-axis. And uh, let me draw another ray making an angle beta. So this angle is beta. So this angle, this angle is alpha plus beta. This is alpha plus, alpha plus beta. I hope you can see that. Okay, now I'm going to drop a perpendicular from say yet this point to this point. So but this is a perpendicular so this angle is a right angle. And I'm going to drop a perpendicular from here and a perpendicular from here. Okay, so lots of constructions here. And uh, I'm going to draw a right angle from here. So this is again a right angle. Okay, so this is a right angle this is a right angle, this is a right angle. Okay, so if this is alpha and this is beta, this whole angle is alpha plus beta. So this is the origin and say this is point A, this is point B, this is say point C, and this is point say D. This is say M, and this is the n. Okay, so before, let's do a bit of geometry. If this is a right angle, this is a right angle. If this is alpha, this would be 90, this angle would be 90 minus alpha. And if this is 90 minus alpha, this is also 90 minus alpha. Okay, so uh, I don't have space here. I think you can understand. So you can prove that this angle is alpha. Okay, so let's think how to prove this angle is alpha. So let me erase this. I'll, so but this is 90 minus alpha. So let us, this is 90 minus alpha. So this angle is also 90 minus alpha. If this is 90 minus alpha, this is a vertically opposite angle, this would be alpha. Okay, and this angle, suppose let me call this say x. Suppose let me call this x. Okay, so this angle plus x plus alpha is 180. So can I say 90 plus x, 90 plus x plus alpha is equal to 180. So I can say x is equal to Taking away 90 and alpha from this side, you can say x is 90 minus alpha. So x is 90 minus alpha, and this is right angle, so this has to be alpha. So this is what I want, so I don't want. So let me delete this, so I think you can understand the geometry. So this is 90, so and this angle is alpha. Okay, so let me change color. So what is sine alpha plus beta? We're using Soka Toa. So let me start here. So sine alpha plus beta is 
for this triangle. So this is in triangle. So let me write the triangle in triangle A M O in triangle A M O. You got angle alpha plus beta. So the opposite of alpha plus beta is A M using Soka Tova is A M over O A. Okay, now what is A M? Can I write A M is A C plus C M. In place of A M, I can write A M is A C plus C M. That is A C plus C M over O A which is equal to, what is CM? CM is equal to BN. In place of CM, I can write BN. So this is AC plus BN over OA. So let me rewrite. So can I say sine alpha plus beta is equal to, I'll write BN over OA first, there's a reason, I'll tell that later, plus AC over OA. I just distributed the fraction, so AC plus BN over OA is same as BN over OA plus AC over OA. Okay, now is the most important step. So now BN over OA is not in any one triangle. So I'm going to do a trick here. This is the most important, crucial step. So this is BN. I can't use BN and OA because BN and OA are in different triangles. But what if I'm going to write BN over OB because BN and OB are in one triangle times I have, I have created this term or this side by myself. So I have to cancel that. So I'll write OB over OA. So this and this are one and the same. This is BN over OA and OB and OB gets cancelled. Plus, okay, you got AC. You got AC over OA. Again, that's not helping. So I'm going to write AC. Can I write this as AC? AC is in one triangle and OA is in a different triangle. So that's not going to help me. So I'm going to write a side here, which is going to help. So I'm going to write AC over AB, AC over AB times, I have to cancel this AB. So I'm writing AB over OA. This and this are one and the same. Okay, I have to I want to see the diagram. So yeah, let me continue with the same. So what is BN? What is BN over OA? Can you see BN is the opposite side of alpha and OB is the hypotenuse in triangle ONB. I'm talking about, so let me I'm talking about this triangle. I'm trying. I'm talking about this triangle. This this triangle. <coughs> BN is the opposite. BN and OB are in triangle OBN. This is opposite of alpha, and this is hypotenuse. So that is sine alpha. This is sine alpha times. What is OB over OA? So let me use a different, suppose I want you to look at this triangle. I'm using the same color, so let me use a different color. Okay, so hopefully, okay, so for some reason, I hope, no, it's not, this is not working, so let me use uh, red color. Hopefully this will work. Now I think all are. So this, I'm talking about this triangle. Now I'm talking about this triangle. 
So in this triangle, OB is the adjacent of beta and OA is the hypotenuse. So that is cos beta. So this is times cos beta plus AC. Now I want you to look at this triangle. This triangle. In this triangle, AC is the adjacent side of alpha and AB is the hypotenuse. So that is cos alpha. So this is plus cos alpha times. Now you have to look in this triangle. This is again a right angle triangle. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, this, this triangle. This is again a right angle triangle. Triangle A, B, O is a right angle triangle. And A, B is the opposite and O, A is the hypotenuse and that is sine beta. This is times sine beta. And this is one of the most important if you know this result, you can prove all other compound angle formulas. So sine alpha plus beta is sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. Okay, so now one more result. You sh I have done this in a previous video. Uh, cos of negative theta is cos theta and sine of negative theta is negative sine theta is negative sine theta this is again a very simple proof but if you don't remember the proof this is a very good result to remember okay so let us prove the final for what is sine alpha minus beta okay so sine sine alpha minus beta is same as writing sine alpha plus negative beta. Okay, and using the same result, so this is sine alpha, sine alpha cos negative beta plus cos alpha sine negative beta. Cos negative beta is same as cos beta, so this is sine alpha cos beta. This is sine alpha cos beta. And sine negative beta is minus sine beta. So this plus will become minus. Minus cos minus cos alpha sine beta. In my next video, I'm going to prove, uh, I, I'll give you the hint, I want to prove in my next video, cos alpha plus beta is equal to cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta. Sine alpha minus sine alpha sine beta and cos alpha minus beta is equal to cos alpha cos beta plus sine alpha sine beta. Now, to prove this result, you can prove this result or you should be knowing that sine of 90 minus theta is cos theta or cos sine and cos are complementary cos of 90 minus theta is equal to sine theta. So you can use this result to prove this using sine alpha plus beta. So I want you to, this is a challenge uh, for you to do it or I'll come back and prove this result.